Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to Now me. what? They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. Stupid sticky keys. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. Are we going then? I just wanted Good to grief. believe that there might be something I just want to get done with this mission. One day. Why am I... Yes, that's dead in the water. It turned me around. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. The hell's your problem? You don't want to know. Make it quick or I might run off again. I'm going to pick up that uh, cigarette card again. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Fingers crossed we can get through this Father's without a crash. Very sad. Because I really don't want to do that again. Died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. A 
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Yeah, Arthur, we all do. Howdy. Howdy. So how many times do you have to do it? Take it easy. All right, well, we can pick up another bounty. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. One's 25. The Terror of Valentine. <laughs> that one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more? They say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murderer. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Poster says alive. A-L-I-V-E. We ain't gotta be a dick about it. Pursuit. All right, how are we doing on supplies? We got we're good on ammo. We got plenty of food. Let's see what we got. All right, there's our bounty. We haven't done a gunslinger yet. Let's go do that. I was wondering if we were gonna untie. Hey, hey, let's talk about this. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. <sighs> you pathetic old oh. man. Oh. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Asshole. One, two, man, two, man. Hello. Thirsty again, are you? Hello. Oh. 
Hello, gentlemen. Howdy. Y'all doing all right? Huh? God damn the cheating now. bastards. Next time, then. I see someone cheating, I tell you what. I take a gun butt and knock them loose a few teeth. See what they think then. All right. Thank you. Is your pig in heat or is that just your natural smell? Don't be fooling with me. Evening, friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, trains parked right across the path. I did it again, damn it. Yeah. What I was trying to do was uh I'm supposed to match the uh, times when you hit shift with the stride of the horse, but it activates that sticky keys thing every time. Need to disable that somehow. What's this white area? if they did they can get lost <laughs> i have never been so insulted in all my life really laughed at boulder dash are you quite certain you're not a spy those wretches will do anything to destroy me my theories are correct and i can prove it what are you doing I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Burwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. 
Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> Good day to you, sir. All right, dinosaur bones now. Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. Oh, you good God. Hands clean? I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalp some. Where do I Boy, put it? They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Calloway? You have no idea, girlie. If I a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, 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 hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mask. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. 
I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You didn't know! <laughs> you just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. I wonder if his revolver is any better. How do I look at that without picking it up? face a little better. Now accuracy is good. I don't know. Where's my horse? Did at least store it. Where are you going? Come here, stupid. Keeping it and keeping my own. Well, actually, this one does look better. Steal all his crap, too. If there's anything to steal.
hard, it's hard to tell if it's really any better or not. We can pick it up, and if our stupid horse would come back here. Come here. What the hell's wrong with this horse? It likes me uh, hold on to it. That's done. Okay, not you. When you gonna bring your stones to the table, huh? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello. You know, a man as stupid as you is mighty hard Crazy. to read. But all right. All right, I guess it's none of them. Is it you? Okay, boy. Huh? Or is it this guy? Hmm. Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got me? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambot, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.